hello guys you have the welcome to my youtube channel my name is kitty and this is kitty crochets well if you're new here i kindly beg of you to subscribe before we go into today's tutorial and for those who have subscribed i am really grateful you can also follow me on instagram at kitty crochets well i kind of have some flu hope you'll be able to get me well so in today's tutorial we are finally going to look at how to make a crochet tiered skirt many of you have asked me to make this tutorial and yes so we are making it today i am going to use yellow yarn and i am going to use robin it is 100 i am going to use yellow yarn and i am going to use robin it is 100 percent acrylic i am going to need a measuring tip and this is going to be for my measurements a pair of scissors to cut off the texas yarn and i am going to use my 3.5 millimeter hook i in most cases use this yarn so let's start right away well we are going to start by measuring the height of our waistband it is going to equate to two inches so we are now going to make a chain that is going to equate to two inches i am going to get my yarn and i am going to start by making a slip knot i bring my hook right here in the middle and pull this behind yarn i am then going to make a chain that is going to equate to two inches for a chain i'm going to yarn over pull through yarn over pull through yarn over pull through yarn over pull through i am going to yarn over and pull through up to when i have two inches so this equates to two inches and i am going to make extra three because i am going to use a double crochet so that's one two and three i am then going to yarn over i come into the fourth one this is one two three in this fourth one i am going to place there my double crochet so i yarn over pull through three loops of the hook i yarn over pull through the first two I again yarn over and pull through the last two i yarn over come into the very next chain right here i yarn over pull through three loops of the hook i yarn over i pull through the first two i again yarn over pull through the last two i yarn over come into the very next one i yarn over pull through three loops of the hook i yarn over pull through the first two i again yarn over and pull through the next two i yarn over come into the very next one yarn over pull through three loops of the hook i yarn over pull through the first two yarn over pull through the last two yeah so well, let me do this up to when i reach the end of this chain i have reached the end of the chain and i'm going to chain one and then turn my work so now we are going to be placing double crochets but only in the back loops when you look on top of your double crochet there is this loop which is the front loop and then there is this one the one behind is the back loop so we are going to be placing our double crochets in only this back loop so i'm going to yarn over come into this very first back loop this one and i place there a double crochet yarn over pull through the first two yarn over pull through the last two again yarn over come into the very next back loop this one and i place there a double crochet I again yarn over come into the very next back loop i place there a double crochet so i am now going to be placing double crochets but only in the back loop and let me do this and come back when i am at the end of this line at the end do not forget or is a place a double crochet in this very last back loop so at the end i chain one and again turn my work and i am again going to repeat the same process placing my double crochets in only the back loops so i start by placing a double crochet in this very first back loop this one i place there a double crochet i come into the very next one i also place there a double crochet in only the back loops so i come into the next one i also place there a double crochet well i am now going to be placing my double crochets in only the back loops i come here and i place there a double crochet so now you are going to make the hips measurements of the person you are going to make the skirt for and i already made my hips measurements my hips measurements are going to be 33 inches you can also make your measurements as well and i am going to do lines of double crochets in only the back loop that can stretch up to 33 inches so i'm going to make a couple of lines and i'm going to come back when i have lines that can stretch to equate to my hips measurements of 33 inches well these can real stretch up to 33 inches so i am now going to join these two parts together so i am going to get my hook 
right here and make sure you fold your work properly so i am going to come either very first stitch on this side and also the very first stitch on this other side i am going to join the two parts together using a slip stitch i yarn over pull through and also pull through the loop that i have on the hook i come into the very next one and also the very next one on this other side i yarn over pull through and also pull through the loop i have on the hook i come into the very next one on this side and also the very next one on this other side then over pull through and also pull through the loop that i have on the hook i come into the very next one and also the very next one on this other side and over pull through also pull through the loop that i have on the hook well i am going to do this up to when i reach the end this is it i have reached the end so i am going to chain one and then turn my work so i am now going to place single crochets all around our waist band so i'm going to come right here in this very first stitch i yarn over pull through two loops on the hook i yarn over pull through the two loops i come right here into the very next one i yarn over pull through two loops on the hook i yarn over pull through the two loops so i'm going to be placing single crochets all around yarn over pull through two loops on the hook yarn over pull through the two loops i come into the very next one yarn over pull through two loops on the hook i yarn over pull through the two loops so i am going to be placing single crochets all around and when i come here i also place there a single crochet yeah so let me do this and come back when i am right here at the end i have reached the end so i am going to come on top of this very first single crochet that i made and i slip stitch pull through also pull through the loop i have on the hook i'm then going to chain one and turn my work so we are now going to start with the body of our skirt and we are going to be using a mesh stitch so i've already chained one and we are going to be using double crochets so i've already chained one i am going to chain four more so that's one two three and four three of these chains to make it one double crochet and then the two to make it a one double crochet chain two so i'm not going to yarn over i skip this next stitch i come into the second one and i place there a double crochet i then chain two i skip the next one come into the second one i place there a double crochet i chain two skip the next one come to the other one and i place there a double crochet so i again chain two i skip this next one come into this one and i place there a double crochet this is a mesh stitch so i chain two skip this one come to the other one and place there a double crochet so i am going to be doing this i make a double crochet chain two skip one stitch down here come into the next one and i place there a double crochet and let me do this and come back when i am at the end of this line well i am close to the end so i am going to come and chain two and then come in the third chain this on top of this third chain here and i slip stitch and i've also pull through the loop that i have on the hook after slip stitching i am going to chain one and again turn my work so i am going to chain four more and the four five in total remember i have already chained one the five in total make it one double crochet and a chain two so after that i come we are now going to be placing our double crochets on top of the previous double crochets i'm sorry for my voice i kind of have flu so i am going to come on top of this previous double crochet and i place there a double crochet i then chain two and come on top of the previous double crochet and place there a double crochet i again chain two and come on top of this previous double crochet i place there a double crochet i chain two on top of the previous double crochet i place there a double crochet yeah so well i am going to do this chaining two and placing a double crochet on top of a previous double crochet and let me do this and come back when i am at the end of this line I have chain two and i am going to come 
in the third chain this is one two three in this third chain it's where i am going to slip stitch from so i slip stitch after that i chain one and then turn my work we again start by chaining four more to make it a total of five those are five i yarn over come on top of these previous double crochet and i place there a double crochet i chain two and come on top of the previous double crochet i place there a double crochet I again chain two and come on top of the previous double crochet and i place there a double crochet yeah so well i'm going to be doing this chaining two and placing double crochets on top of the previous double crochets when i reach here i just slip stitch in the third chain right here so i am going to do this for a total of i'm going to do lines of mesh that equate to a total of 10 inches and let me come back to you when i am done making those 10 inches well these are my 10 inches of mesh and i have made 20 lines so we are now going to start making that yes so we are now going to use a v-stitch so i am going to start by chaining five three those are three four and five i turn my work so as i have told you i'm going to be using a v-stitch and i am now going to place a double crochet in this very same space where i have chained five so i come right here and i place there a double crochet i then chain two one two i yarn over i come on top of this very next double crochet i place there a double crochet after placing there a double crochet i again chain two and still in the very same space i place there a double crochet this is a v-stitch i chain two and come on top of this next double crochet this one i place there a double crochet after that i chain two and again in the very same space i come and place there a double crochet so a v-stitch is one double crochet chain two and one double crochet in the same space i chain two i come on top of this very next one i place there a v-stitch one double crochet i chain two again one double crochet in the very same space after that i chain two i come on top of the next one i place there a double crochet i then chain two and in the very same space i again place there a double crochet yeah so this is how this line is going to go placing a v-stitch on top of the previous double crochet and let me do this and come back when i am at the end of the line i am at the end of this line so i am going to chain two and come on top of this very first double crochet that we made and i slip stitch so after slip stitching i am again going to chain five four, two three four and five and after that i turn my work so after turning my work we are now going to be placing the v stitches on top of the previous double crochets so i am again going to come right here and i place there a double crochet remember the chain five is one double crochet and chain two so after placing there a double crochet after making a v-stitch i chain two and come on top of the very next double crochet and i place there a v-stitch one double crochet chain two and again a double crochet in the very same space after that i chain two and come on top of the next double crochet of the this previous v-stitch and i also place there a v-stitch one double crochet chain two and then one double crochet in the very same space i chain two i come on top of the next double crochet i place there a double crochet i chain two and again on top in the very same space i place there a double crochet i again chain two and on top of the very next double crochet i come and 
place there a uh, double crochet i chain two and again in the very same space i place there a uh, double crochet so for the second line this the first line was our first line of the tears so this is our second line and i'm going to be placing v stitches on top of the double crochets of the previous v stitches and yes let me come back after this line well so i'm done making my last v stitch i am going to chain two and two and then come on top of this very first double crochet that we made and i slip stitch after that i'm going to chain five one two three four and five and turn my work so we are now going to resume with making our mesh stitch we are only going to make two lines of v stitches and these are going to be our increases i'm going to yarn over and come on top of this very next double crochet and i place there a double crochet i chain two i come on top of the next double crochet and i place there a double crochet after that i chain two and then come on top of this next double crochet and i place there a double crochet i again chain two and come on top of the next double crochet and place there a double crochet as yes, well i am going to be chaining two and placing a double crochet on top of our previous double crochet just like we did right here in the 10 inches and yes let me do this and come back when i am at the end of this line i am at the end of my third line so i'm going to chain two and then come on top of this very first double crochet that i made and i slip stitch so i'm now going to chain five one two three four and five after that i turn my work so when i turn my work i am going to repeat the same process of placing double crochets on top of the previous double crochets and then after that i chain two and come on top of this next double crochet and i place there a double crochet i again chain two and come on top of the next double crochet and place there a double crochet i chain two on top of the next double crochet i place there a double crochet well so this is going to be our pattern these are going to be our tiers remember we started by making v stitches and i made v stitches for two lines so i am i'm going to make six lines of mesh stitch these are two i am going to make four more to make it a total of eight lines so let me come back when i have made the remaining lines of mesh and when i have a total of eight lines from the v stitches i am done with my eight lines and yes so this is what i have and so now i am now going to come and determine the middle part right here from the west band up to where i started making the v stitches from i am going to determine the middle part and i made 20 lines of mesh so my middle part is going to be in this 10th line i've already determined it and so now we are now going to put our second tier right here in the 10th line i have turned my work upside down so i am now going to get my yarn and i attach it right here so after attaching my yarn, remember we started by making a V stitch on top of a previous double crochet right here. So it's the same thing that we are going to do. So I've already chained one and I am going to place a double crochet right here in this very same space. Yarn over. I pull through the first two, I also pull through the next two. I then chain two and in the very same space, I place there a second double crochet i am making a v stitch after that i chain two and come we are going to be following this line make sure that you follow the same line that you started with so i am going to come on top of this next double crochet and i also place there a v stitch one double crochet chain two and then a second double crochet in the very same space I chain two and then come on top of the very next double crochet this is it and I also place there a v stitch one double crochet chain two and then a 
second double crochet in the very same space i chain two i come on top of the very next one it's this one i place there a v stitch one double crochet i chain two and again a double crochet in the very same space after that i chain two so well this is what i am going to be doing make sure that you put the second tier like this middle tier in the middle make sure that it is in the middle of your skirt you measure the middle from your waistband up to where you started making this tier from up to where you started like making the v stitches from so let me show you this once again you yarn over come on top of the very next double crochet you place there a v stitch one double crochet chain two and then a double crochet in the very same space after that you chain two and then go to the next double crochet yeah so let me be placing a v stitch and yeah let me come back when i am right here at the end i am at the end so i am now going to chain two and then come on top of this very first double crochet that we made and i slip stitch Pull through, also pull through the loop I have on the hook. So I'm now going to chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and then turn my work. Remember, five is one double crochet and a chain two. So again, in the very same space, I am going to place there a double crochet. So I come right here and I place there a double crochet. After that, I chain two. We are now going to be do placing a V stitch on top of the previous double crochets, just like we did with the first year. So I come right here and I place there a V stitch, one double crochet, chain two, again a double crochet in the very same space. After that, I again chain two. I now come on top of the very next double crochet and I place there a v stitch and double crochet chain two and then one double crochet in the very same space i chain two come on top of the very next double crochet and also place there a v stitch one double crochet chain two and then one double crochet yeah so well let me be placing double crochet sorry v stitches on top of the previous double crochets and these double crochets made v stitches so yeah let me do this and come back when i am at the end of our second line i am at the end of this line and i've chained two already so i am going to come in the third chain or the chain five and i slip stitch so after slip stitching i am again going to chain five two three four and five and turn my work after turning my work so remember our v stitches were for only two lines we are now going to go back to making a mesh stitch so i am now going to be placing one double crochet on top of a double crochet i chain two and i then place a double crochet on top of the next double crochet i chain two come on top of the next double crochet i place there a double crochet i again chain two come on top of the very next double crochet and i place there a double crochet i chain two come on top of the next double crochet and i place there a double crochet yeah so all these is going to be the pattern just like we did before and i am again going to do this for eight lines and yeah let me do this doing a mesh stitch placing a double crochet on top of a previous double crochet and then chaining two and yeah let me come back when i am done with those eight lines well i am done with my eight lines of the second tier this was the first one so we are only remaining with one and that last one we are going to be placing it like instead of placing it on top of the double crochets we are going to be placing it like under these double crochets just at the bottom of your waistband we are it's where we are going to place our last year so you are before that let me first make a chain and this chain is going to be for our waistband and then we can do the last year so for a chain 
the chain is going to help us like tighten the waistband so you make a slip knot yarn over pull this behind yarn you yarn over pull through yarn over pull through yarn over pull through yarn over pull through i am making a chain and yes let me do this yarn over pull through yarn over pull through and come back when i have something that is enough for my waistband I am done with making my chain, so we are now going to be putting it in our waistband. So I am going to come in one row, you are going to put it like in, and then for the next row, you pull it out. For the next one, you pull it in, and then for the other one, you pull it out. Yeah, like this, in and out and yes let me do this and get back to you when i am done putting my chain in the waistband well i am done with putting my chain to the waistband and it is going to keep inside so for our last tier we are going to follow the same pattern just like for the previous two tiers but for this time round, you are just going to come below the double crochet so you are going to come right here and you attach your yarn after attaching your yarn you are going to be placing the v stitches just below the double crochet so i am going to come here and i place there my very first v stitch remember a v stitch is one double crochet chain two and then one double crochet in the very same space after that you chain two you then come at the bottom of the very next double crochet you also place there a v stitch chain two in the very same space you place there a double crochet you chain two come at the bottom of the very next one you place there your v stitch double crochet you chain two you come at the bottom of the very next one right here you also place there a v stitch yeah so well this is going to be the pattern i have showed you this already so you are going to be placing the v stitches just at the bottom of the double crochets and when you reach here at the end after placing your very last v stitch here you just chain two and slip stitch on top of this double crochet after that for the second line just like we did before right here you pl you place v stitches on top of this double crochet you come here and place a v stitch on top of this double crochet you then place a v stitch on top of this double crochet just like we've done with these two tiers and for the third line it's when you resume and go back to the mesh stitch placing one double crochet on top of a double crochet chain two and then a double crochet on top of a double crochet and yes so this is it this is how our skirt is made for this tier you just follow the same pattern as we have been doing before and yes this is how our skirt is made well hope you have something that looks like this hope you love how beautiful this is many of you had asked me this but i was so lazy making it because it is very time consuming and but finally i've decided to upload it hope you love it hope it will be helpful to you you can follow me on instagram at kitty crutches and kindly don't leave here without subscribing for those who have subscribed i am really humbled yeah thank you very much for watching